There are several ways of testing to see if a number is prime. Um, most of the more frequently used ways are um, probabilistic tests, one of which is uh, Fermat's uh, primality testing based on the little Fermat theorem. The idea is to find out if a certain, certain number n is prime. In order to do this, we choose an integer a, usually just a low number, and we compute a to the power n minus 1 mod n. If, if this number, a to the n minus 1, is not equal to 1, then 1 mod n, then n is composite. If a to the n minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod n, then it's probably prime. Um, we can test more values for a, like if we test, if we choose a to be 2 and we test it, and then we choose a to be 3 and we test it, the more values for a we choose, it gives us higher and higher assurance that n is indeed prime. Um, for example, if we want to know, is 23 prime? So, forgot to change that this 561 here and here should both be 23. It's a mistake. Um, if we want to know, is 23 prime? So n equals 23, not, not 561. So we want to know a to the 23 minus 1, because the n minus 1, is, is it congruent to 1 mod 23? 23. So I chose a to be 2 in this case. Um, and a to the 22nd power is, or to the 23 minus 1, is equal to 1 mod 3. Therefore, 23 is probably prime. We can also choose a to be equal to 3. And if we calculate 3 to the 23 minus 1, or 22, it is also uh, equal, congruent to 1 mod 23. Therefore, we can still say that 23 is probably prime, only with a higher um, certainty. And potentially, we should test all, you know, every value of a. Um, higher than 1, but less than n minus 1. So if we tested 2 through, oh, excuse me, this should be 2 through 21. Because up to, but not equal to n minus 1. 2 through 21, not 